everybody, my name is Mara and I am the Farm Programs Coordinator here at Her Farm. And we are about to do a little tour of the chicken schoolyard. So if you'll follow me inside, you can meet our lovely chickens. This is Pico here waiting for me. He is our, um, he's our rooster and our um, bold protector. I like to feed him as soon as I come in, um, just so he doesn't attack me. <laughs> so if you follow me over here, I'll show you where we keep our meal room. So as you can tell, the chickens know what they're about to get. These are mealworms. I'll show you, a, oh, here you go, Pico. I'll show you a closer view of them. So these are like ice cream for these chickens. That's what we always tell um, students and kids that come through here. So we can't feed them too much. We don't want to give them uh, too much fat. It's just a nice little treat for them. We also suggest that people not feed them out of their hands so they just don't get um, pecked. So we just throw stuff on the ground. See Pico once more. He's greedy. <laughs> Pico's insatiable. Um, speaking of Pico, we have a very special chicken here as well. Um, her name is Muriel. Last fall, we had um, a fox. She's not in there. A fox get in um, up here through the chicken wire, and we had. Um, we had some casualties, unfortunately. Um, one chicken that survived that attack is Muriel, and um, she did lose her eyesight, though. She's missing one eye, and we think maybe she can see some shadows and light, but she's mostly, um, mostly blind. So this is her um, special little home. She's not in it right now, um, but you can see it has this little perch for her. And her food and water are always in the same place so that she can find them. She was having trouble finding her food and sometimes getting into the coop at night. Um, so our, one of our wonderful volunteers, Sarah Lindauer, um, took it upon herself to set Muriel up with this fancy little chicken mansion. So this is, this is her. Hi Muriel. So, Miss Muriel is very tame, and um, that's been one of the, you know, making a lemonade out of lemons situation. Um, so she definitely, she had a tough time, but we had to nurse her back to health, hand feed her, give her lots of medication for a long time. And so she's ended up essentially just being a little pet chicken. She loves humans. She comes when you call. She likes to be loved on. Um, she doesn't She's not bothered by like 60 kids coming through here and wanting to pet her and love on her. So she's actually turned out to be a huge blessing for us here. And Pico also survived the attack. Um, he lost a bunch of tail feathers, but he really did his job trying to protect his ladies here. And um, for a few weeks after that, he was very um, protective of them. Even people that he knew, like me and Laurie, who's filming this, um, when we would come into the coop, he would be um, very suspicious of us for a while, and it took him a while to trust anyone um, or anything being around his chickens. So he did his job, and um, that's the story of Muriel and the fox. <laughs> Good? All right, guys. 